SOHO stands for Solar Heliospheric Observatory, and it's a mission that was launched by ESA, the European Space Agency, and NASA in 1995 to study the sun. The sun is a star, and the universe is made up of stars. But the sun is very close to us. We're able to see the sun in great detail. So if we can understand our sun, then that allows us to have a better understanding of the rest of the stars and, the, and consequently the rest of the universe. Well, the first time I saw a SOHO image, my reaction was basically, wow. I was blown away. I've never seen the, the kinds of detail, the kinds of structure, the kinds of dynamics that were going on in any sort of image of the sun before. And I think that this is probably true for a lot of scientists. One of the ways that SOHO studies the corona is using what we call a coronagraph. And so a coronagraph creates an artificial eclipse because the sun itself, the surface of the sun, is about a million times brighter than this outer structure of the corona. You need to block that bright disk out so that you can see the much fainter outer corona. Using SOHO and using technique called helioseismology, very similar to seismology on the Earth, we were actually able to see inside the sun. And so what we were able to do is see the layer of the sun just below the visible surface that we call the convection zone. And that's where all sorts of dynamics are going on, the inside of the sun is bubbling up to the surface, and that's really where all of the, the solar phenomena that we see is first developed. And so we were able to see underneath the surface and see these flows of solar plasma, see the formation of sunspots. And this is something that's never been done before. We're actually able to see the details inside of a star. I had been staring at images from Soho for months and on months, and the data was beautiful. But then when I saw Trace, you got to see these fine detail, these tiny loops that you just completely didn't even imagine were there. And then you see them, and they're, it's like nothing you've ever seen. You're seeing details of the coronal loops. In the previous images you would uh, from other satellites, it would look like it was just one big loop. And when you actually get to see Trace, you can see it's all these teeny tiny, finely, they almost look like threads. And there's these teeny tiny loops and they're just breaking off and reforming and throwing plasma. One loop can be vastly different temperature than the next loop. And so that has been a big thing. It's helped with magnetic data. They're able to see that when the loops break off, they can see the way the magnetic field is twisting. And so the instruments on SOHO work closely with TRACE and vice versa so that we can use all the data together to better understand things. 